Hey guys, it's Rojo Inc. And today we're gonna be talking about my new computer. Just like I said in the previous um, computer recording test run vlog thing that was like 50 seconds long, I said I was gonna talk about my new computer and we are here doing just that. So, some of you asked for the specs on the computer and honestly, I am more than happy to bring out the specs. I am so glad that I was able to build the new computer. I don't know if you were able to see in my Overwatch video, there was a box like right there. Um, I'll get into that in a bit. But first off, let's start with the case. For the case, I went with the Corsair SPEC-02. I had the black theme with the red front LED lights that come from the fan. So. This case is really nice. I really like how it has the side panel window. It lets me see the interior of the of the case. I don't know if I'm going to work on cable management or not. I probably will someday in the future, but for right now, I'm just more than glad that everything works fine exactly as I thought it would. So, moving on after the case, um I went with um I got two storage devices. One being a 2 terabyte WD Blue hard drive. Now this one is where I'm going to install all of my games and where I'm going to save all of my recordings and such things um, that I are not too CPU and graphics card dependent. Now the other storage device is an SSD. I went with a Kingston 240 gigabyte SSD and that's just where I installed Windows 10, uh, where I installed most of the most of the programs like my editing software, um, music like Spotify. Uh, I don't know, pretty much like all the important programs went on the SSD. Now, let's get into more of the cool stuff, quote unquote. For the power supply, I went with the Corsair. 750 watt CX 750M. This is a 80 plus bronze. So um, bronze means that it's uh, certified in a way to work well. There's bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. I don't know if there is silver, but I know there's gold and platinum. Bronze being the lowest tier. Even though it's bronze, it works really fine. It's able to power the entire rig, so I'm really happy with it. Now, for the motherboard, oh my dad called, for the motherboard, I went with the, you gotta like hear a lot of stuff because I just put a whole bunch of stuff in here. I went with the MSI 970 Gaming Motherboard, which features Audio Booth, Audio Booth 2, Killer 2200 Ethernet, or uh, network, uh, it's able to hold um, FX AMD processors and uh, it's a G series AM3 plus chipset motherboard. Now, as I mentioned, it does support AMD FX, which is why I bought an AMD FX processor. I went with the AMD FX Vishera 8350 processor. This is at this point one of the top AMD processors that there is right now. And it has a, um, a speed and power of 4.0 gigahertz. And it could be turboed up to 4.7, but I'm not going to do any overclocking on it. Um, well, right now. I might do it in the future, but I probably won't do it right now. Now, for the RAM, I went with the Corsair Vengeance Pro 16 gigabyte, 2x8 gigabyte sticks, 1866 megahertz. As I said, Vengeance Pro series DDR3. Um, I decided to go with 16 gigabytes because I see that anything over that is pretty redundant. It's not going to make that much of a difference on my performance. But in the future, I may go up to 24 or 32 gigabytes depending on whether I feel that it is necessary. Next is pretty much the most important thing which is the graphics card i went with the asus geforce gtx 1070 strix gaming aura rgb 
graphics card. This graphics card is absolutely amazing. You are probably wondering why I didn't go with the 1080. The reason being simple. I feel that from the 1070 to the 1080 is just a huge increase in money and I just don't see that it's that necessary to purchase a card that much, uh, that costs that much more. Now, I could have gone with it and I was considering just saving up to getting it, but I just thought that this would be fine for now and probably for the entire time that I have this gaming PC. Um, also, another one of the miscellaneous um, hardware products that I got was an Asus DVD drive. It only cost $20, but I saw that it was essential to the computer because obviously I had to install Windows and all the drivers, so I think that was pretty much important to install. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. I can't quite remember off the top of my head if I was missing any anything. Oh, the cooler. The cooler is just the stock cooler that came with the processor. I did purchase a Cooler Master. Um, I think it was thirty dollars, uh, thirty dollar fan. But in the end, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna stick with the stock cooler. So that's perfectly fine. I um, I'm satisfied with it. It's silent. Um, so I'm more than happy with the build altogether. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it was a quick video, but some of you did ask for the specs on my PC, and there you have it. I will leave a list down below in the description of all the piece of all the parts, and I might also leave the links to where you could purchase the products from the stores that I bought them. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and become a color guys. Until next time, I'm Rojo E, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.